Hello there, welcome to another episode of Matt's Chats. This is where we talk to people within the whisky industry and try to bring it to life for you. And I'm delighted to be joined today by Ewan Gunn, who's long-term friend of Whiskey for Everyone actually, and also the global brand ambassador for Scotch Whiskey for Diageo. So thanks very much for joining us, Ewan. My pleasure, it's lovely to be here. Yeah, thank you. And uh, really talking today about um, you know, a very sort of special annual release that comes out from Diageo. With some yeah. very very sort of uh, intriguing whiskies, mm. uh, the Diageo special releases. So can you just yeah. tell us a little bit about? Yeah, about absolutely. Those so every year we bring our annual special releases and, and share with the world. We launched them yesterday, which is very exciting. Um, and basically, this is an opportunity for us to showcase um, our incredible portfolio of single malt and occasionally single grain Scotch whisky distilleries. We have more distilleries across Scotland than, than any Scotch whisky company. And some of them are very, very well-known brands, some of them maybe lesser well-known. And it gives us an opportunity to, to share them with, with whisky fans and people who are new to whisky as well. Now, we always try to include um, whiskies which are, are interesting. We try and include a range of age points. Um, often these are sometimes from closed distilleries. Um, they're often at unusual age points and they're often um, distilleries which people are quite excited to try an unusual expression from. So we quite often do brands that are well known, but maybe from interesting maturation regimes or cask finishes. They're also always at natural cask strength. So it's always an exciting sort of journey of discovery for people. And as I mentioned, it's something that whiskey fans look forward to every year, but more and more we're seeing people that are maybe new to the world of whiskey really embracing these and, and discovering them. So it's, it's, it's something that everyone looks forward to every year. Yeah, I mean, certainly from our experience, it's. Uh you know, and people that we know, it's one of the most highly anticipated. Absolutely. You know, every autumn, you know, people are literally scrabbling to find yeah. out sort of what, <laughs> what might be included this year. Because you do get yeah. some quite rare and, you know, in some cases quite yeah. old uh, whiskies as well. Yeah, absolutely. So what can you tell us about the 2021 collection? Yeah, so so this year we've, we've actually, the past couple of years we've gone with a sort of unified theme for the collection. Prior to that, you know, there were some amazing whiskies, but they kind of sat on in their own right, if you like. We've actually kind of brought together the collection as a unified range in um, the past two years, and we've done that again this year. And this year, the theme is Legends Untold. And this really delves into some of this sort of untold myths and legends of some of our distilleries. And we've brought it together as, as a beautiful package. The, the artwork that ties the range together is just incredible. We worked with um, an incredible artist called Ken Taylor, who's uh, based in Australia. And he's done, you'll definitely have seen some of his work. He's worked with Metallica, the Pixies, Bob Dylan, the Rolling Stones, I think Sony and NASA. You know, he's uh, done some incredible work. And the artwork he created for us is, is beautiful. It has these incredible mythical creatures. But then when you really get into the detail, and that's what he's all about, is incredible detail. There's little elements of the distilleries and their locations in the backgrounds as well, so that it's absolutely beautiful. I think this this is the point where we should actually we should. sort of show, because yeah. this pack, I, I mean, I have to say, when it arrived, <laughs> it's one of the best sort of press media it's sample yeah. packs that, that <laughs> I think in, in all our time we've ever received. Oh, thank you. And, uh, you know... It, it kind of hints at what you're going to get with this yeah. sort of cover. You can see sort of this Legends the Untold, uh, their 2021 special releases. Yeah. But if you just take that off you and then it reveals what I've described as a sort of library of uh, whiskey inside because you have like this set here, which, which again, you know, you kind of get the idea that, yeah. yeah, this is something very good. But if we just look at this one, for example, so this is Singleton of Glendullen, 19 years old, but you just look at that, you know, fabulous artwork there. So this is the Siren song. Yeah. And then inside you've got uh, the sample there and then the tale, you know, the inspiration really behind yeah. the, 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 the sort of legend. And, also, and then you've got sorry. the, the tasting notes and, and yeah. from, from Dr. Craig Wilson in, inside. He, he's the this. one that collated the... Yeah, yeah. So Craig um, curates this collection every year and he's done an incredible job. Um, one of the things I really love about these and also the, the full size packs is you'll see a little QR code there. Mm -hmm. And when you scan that QR code, it actually takes you into a, it's a beautiful virtual world, again, involving the artwork. Mm -hmm. And um, there's a sort of um, recording basically talking you through 
both the story of the sort of mythical beast, but also the story of the whiskey and takes you through the tasting notes. So you can almost enter this virtual world as you're enjoying a dram mm. in, in your own home. So it's, it's a really immersive experience and I, I think it works really well. And it, it just sort of opens up a, a new realm of possibilities with scotch. Mm. It, it, it is quite sort of boundary pushing, I would say. Yeah. You know, I certainly yeah. had a look at them yesterday and you know, it's all it's almost like you're in that world. Isn't yeah, it? it's kind of layered. It's, it's yeah. a three dimensional on, the, on your phone. So it's, it's just a really fun experience. And you know, that, that's what these should be. They should be great liquids, but also really good fun. And that, that's what it's all about. Yeah, so the last two years was Rare by Nature. Yes, correct. Which again yeah. was lovely, mm. uh, you know, quite sort of flora, fauna yeah. type of artwork. Yeah, very sort of beautiful, quite delicate artwork. Yeah, this is a bit bolder, but Again, really beautiful, I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it pulled out all the stops for the yeah. 20th anniversary, I would say. You have to do it right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, what, what, would you, what could you tell us about the actual collection itself? Of, of yeah. The, so there's eight whiskies included. Eight whiskies, yeah. So this is, um, it's a tour of some of our, our much-loved distilleries. Um, there are some well-known um, whiskies in here. There's, there's Talisker, there's Lagavulin, for example. Um, there's Oban, which we haven't had in the special releases for quite some time. Uh, similarly, there's um, a Royal of Nagar, which we've not had as part of this collection for quite some time. So there's some sort of favourites revisited, and then some that really haven't been seen for quite some time. Uh, the Talisker 8-year-old, for example, we've had a Talisker 8-year-old last year, a 15 the year before, and an 8 the year before that. And mm -hmm. They were so, so well received, they were absolutely adored. Um, and this Talisker, Everyone that I know that has tasted it has absolutely loved it as well. So, you know, big shoes to fill, but I think it's done a great job. Um, Langeville and 12 year old has always been, well not always, but certainly for the past few years has been a, a core part of the range. It's um, a bit of a staple, isn't it? You yeah, know, a little so bit. Everyone kind people, of looks... people get excited and look forward to the Langeville yeah. and 12 coming. Um, and this one's a really interesting one because it's a slightly more, I would say a slightly more delicate expression of Langeville and um, more aromatic smoke. Um, and some lovely sort of lemon zest notes as well. So a little bit unexpected, still clearly like a villain, mm. you know, very smoky, um, has some richness, but a little bit lighter and more delicate than maybe people would be used to. So a lovely, interesting expression of like a villain. Um, we actually have two like villains this year. We I also, was gonna say yeah. we need to mention the other one. <laughs> we do need to mention the other one because it is absolutely stunning. It's a 26 year old and it has spent its entire life being matured in Pedro Jimenez Oloroso seasoned casks. So we have done quite a bit of um, finishes on some other whiskies with those um, treated casks. This one has spent its entire life in them. And what you get is just everything that's great about Lagavulin. It has all the rich, sort of heavy smoke, but then it has some lovely sort of baked fig notes. It's, it's just a lovely juxtaposition of rich, earthy smoke and then sweet fruits. And it, it's just incredible. Yeah, I mean, I have to say it's an absolute stunner. And, yeah. <laughs> and old, older Lagavulins don't really come around too often, do they? It's really unusual so. to see a, a Lagavulin at that age point, to be quite honest. Yeah, so, yeah very exciting. So, uh, I mean, I, I also found that there was a couple of quite interesting ones. That, mm. As you say, that, um, you know, maybe haven't appeared recently. You know, I... I Particularly like the Singleton of Glendullen, which has yeah. had some cognac casks. Yeah, it was finished in it was finished in cognac casks, and that's not something we've released a lot of from any of our whiskies. So again, quite an interesting one, and I think works really well with the Singleton because Singleton, at its heart, is quite a gentle, quite delicate, um, sort of green grassy, quite fresh style of whiskey. Mm -hmm. So then, adding that layer of this sort of cognac cask influence. It definitely adds a little bit more richness and mm. some lovely sort of almost creamy texture. It's really, Quite really interesting. juicy, I found. Yeah, you know, yeah. Lovely sort of apricot or tarmac yeah. type notes coming through, I, I found. And I, I particularly liked the, I know Cardew has appeared the last couple yeah. of years, but there's, there's, this one's got a red wine finish. Red wine cast finished, yeah. So we've had a 14-year-old and, and an 11-year-old in the last couple of years, and I, I really like them, actually. They had lots of what you'll love about Cardew, lots of orchard fruits mm. and a kind of sweet honeysuckle note. Um, one of them had a bit of spice to it as well. This one, with that red wine cast finish, it's got a lovely kind of juiciness to it. There's a, a hint of, sort of tannin, but very, very subtle. And yeah, it just adds a new dimension to Cardew and takes it in an interesting direction. I, I think it's really, really nice. Um, the Mortlick as well is a really interesting one because Mortlick is 13, years old, 13 years old, American oak maturation. So normally Mortlick is predominantly or entirely European oak maturation, mm. so lots of rich, heavy fruits. This kind of strips Mortlick a little bit bare, actually, mm. and takes you much more into the distillery style. So it's still 
quite rich, it's quite heavy in style, it's got lots of texture to it. And mm. um, there's almost a sort of barbecued ribs kind of note to it, which is really nice. Mm. Um, but it kind of reveals more of the distillery character yeah. um, and the wood influence is sort of dialed back a little bit. And it's interesting because um, it's not more like as you know it, but it's actually a really lovely expression of Mordlach, for yeah. sure. Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. I mean, mm. to be honest, the whole the whole uh, sort of package <laughs> and all eight of them are lovely, of course, yeah. you know, sort of pointing in different directions and really showing through. And, I, and as we say, we just loved the, the box. And, and, you know, that's had a lot of Thank engagement you. on, yeah. you know, sort of, I, I've seen lots on sort of Instagram and yeah, a lot other, of other media. So... Yeah, thank you so much for just talking us through those My and pleasure. just talking to us about the special releases in, in general. And uh, yeah, thanks very much, Ewan. My Cheers. pleasure as always. Thank you. Great. And we'll see you next time on the next episode of Matt's Chats. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.